In this video we're going to take a look at estimating two-digit divisors and also two-digit dividends. Okay, now the easiest way to estimate these, we cannot round like we have done before with multiplication or anything like that. What we're going to have to do is use compatible numbers. Okay, so in your notes I want you to write this down. Okay, using compatible numbers is the best way to estimate a two-digit divisor division problem. Okay, what I mean by two-digit divisor, you can see my 20 here, that's, a, that's the divisor, the 1,250, that's the dividend. Okay, so the first thing you will want to do is you want to round the divisor. Okay, so I want you to write this down in your notes. First, I want you to round the divisor. Now, my 20 is already rounded. I don't have to do anything there. When it's a two-digit divisor, you want to round it to the nearest 10. Okay, three-digit divisor, round it to the nearest 100, and so on. And then what I want you to do is think of a compatible dividend that could divide right into the divisor. We're not rounding, we're thinking of compatible numbers. They're kind of like cousins, um, but not necessarily the exact same thing. So I round my 20. Well, I don't need to round my 20 to anything. Now what I can do is I can look at my 12. All right. And what I do is I can even think of that 2 now in my divisor and I need to think about what is the closest number to 12 that's compatible to 2. Now sometimes we won't have to rewrite anything like this. In other words, what's the closest number that can be evenly divided um, by 2? And 12 is already there, so we don't have to change anything. So we'll just rewrite the 12. The 5 turns into a 0. All the other numbers will turn into a 0. So now we have 1,200 divided by 20. Okay, and we can just divide like we normally have. The first thing we can do is we can eliminate these zeros. Okay, remember a zero in the dividend and the zero in the divisor must leave in a pair. So now what we have is 120 divided by 2. First thing I want to do is divide my basic fact. 12 divided by 2 is going to give me 6. Then I can tack on my zero at the end for a total of 60. Okay, so 1,250 divided by 20, if we're estimating that, will give us an answer of 60 for our estimation. Okay, so we're going to take a look at that 267 divided by 32. My first step is to round this 32 to a 30. I'm going to round it to the nearest 10. Okay, now I can rewrite my 267. So now I have 267 divided by 30. Now what I will do is underline the first digit in my divisor. And I want to look at those first two digits in my dividend. So I have the number 3. Now I need to think about the closest number to 26 that's compatible to 3. Or the closest number to, of 26 that 3 can go into evenly. It can be a number that's greater or a number that's less than 26. And I know that 27 is the closest number to 26 that's compatible with 3. So I'm going to change that 26 to a 27. We're not rounding or anything. We're just doing this with compatible numbers. Change that 7 to a 0 now. I can rewrite my 30. I didn't change anything there. Now we can just simply start dividing like we know how to do. First thing we can do is just eliminate the zeros because I have a zero in my dividend and also zero in my divisor. I can eliminate those two. Now I have the simple division problem of 27 divided by 3 and 27 divided by 3 gives me 9. So the first step you want to round and then from there you want to find compatible numbers. Now we're going to do two problems together, together then I'll have you do a few all by yourself. So I want you to get out your pencil and journal. And let's write down 790 divided by 78. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is round the 78 to an 80. We're going to round it to the nearest 10, so that's going to give us 80. And we'll just simply rewrite 79 or 790. So we now have 790 divided by 80. Okay, now we go to our next step. We need to figure out a compatible number, so we underline that 8 in our divisor. We're going to take a look at the first two digits in my 790. 
Now we need to think about 79. What is the closest number to 79 that's compatible with 8? Okay, and I know that 80 is compatible with 8, so I'm going to change that 79 to an 80. Then I'll rewrite my 0 right underneath there. I'm going to have my division sign. I'm going to rewrite my 80. Now you can just simply divide very easily now. Okay, so what we can do, first of all, we're going to eliminate our two zeros. There's a zero in the dividend, zero in the divisor, and they can leave. As long as they leave in pairs, that they, they can leave. Now we have 80 divided by 8, and that gives me 10 for our answer. Okay, let's take a look at 4,390 divided by 68. I want you to write this down in your notes. The first thing we are going to do is round that 78, or I'm sorry, 68 to a 70. We're going to round it to the nearest 10, and that'll give us 70. We have our division sign. Now we're going to rewrite our 4,390. Okay, now we need to zero in on compatible numbers. Okay, we look at our 7 and we look at that 43. We need to think about the closest number to 43 that's compatible with 7. It can be a number that's greater or a number that's less than. Okay, I know that 42 is compatible with 7. Now 49 is compatible, but it's not the closest number. 35 is compatible, but it's not the closest number. So we need to change that 43 to a 42. Remember, you're just not finding any old compatible number. It has to be the closest compatible number. And then we're going to change that 9 to a 0 and keep that 0 the same. Now we're going to rewrite our 70. Now we're going to simply divide like we know how to do. First of all, we can eliminate some zeros because they can leave in a pair. A 0 in the dividend, a 0 in the divisor can leave in a pair. Now what we can do is simply divide our basic fact. 42 divided by 7 gives me 6. Then after that, we can tack on our 0 at the end for a grand total of 60. Okay, I want you to do these two, no two problems all by yourself. And you can pause the video as you're doing these problems. And when you're finished, you can press play, and I will have the answers for you. So pause the video now. Okay, here are their answers for you. You can see for the first problem, we have the answer of 60. We changed 93 to 90. Compatible number with 9, with nine would be 54. And they gave us the answer of 60. Okay, for the second problem, we have the answer of 300. The first thing we changed, that's 72 to a 70. A number that's compatible, closest number that's compatible to 7. That's closest number to 20 that's compatible with 7 is 21. We took our two zeros away. 21 divided by 7 gave me 3, and then we tacked our two zeros on at the end. Okay, so this is how you estimate with two-digit divisors. If you have any questions about this concept, please come and see me.